Hey guys, it's Lizzie here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this warm gold smoky eye and this dark red lip. So um, if you want to know how to recreate it, then just keep watching. Thank you. So today, as we're doing relatively light eye, I'm going to start off by priming my skin and doing my base first, and then doing the eye makeup after. So I'm priming my skin using a Dermalogica primer called um, Skin Perfect Primer. And then for my foundation, I'm going to use Estee Lauder's Double Wear in the lightest shade, which is Shell. And as always, I'm going to apply a thin layer all over and then look and see where I need extra coverage. Now for my concealer, I'm going to use Collections Lasting Perfection Concealer, again in their lightest shade, Fair. I'm just going to take that on anywhere where I feel needs a little bit extra coverage on my chin and around my nose. I'm not going to conceal under my eyes yet because for that I'm going to use a more light reflective concealer um, whereas this one sets matte so it's better for sort of any area that has a bit of texture that you want to cover up and also by concealing under our eyes it will clear up any fallout so we'll do that after our eyeshadow. I'm just pressing this in with my finger instead of a brush because the heat of your finger will help to melt the product into the skin a bit better. And by patting instead of swiping, you're going to keep the product exactly where you want it. Now it's always a good idea when you're doing your makeup to have a baby wipe handy or a makeup wipe or some kind of towel or something just to wipe your hands on as you're going along because um, otherwise they tend to get a bit messy. So I just completed one eye off camera like I normally do. Um, now I'm going to prime my eyes using Urban Decay's Primer Potion in the anti-aging formula. You really only need a tiny amount of primer because if you apply too much it actually does the opposite and starts to make it really difficult for your makeup to settle in place. If you don't have a primer you can use a concealer and just set that with some powder. I'm just going to take a skin coloured powder and just set the part that's under my eyebrow to the crease so leaving the eyelid nice and tacky. With a small crease brush I'm just going to take the terracotta shade from the Sleek's Ultra Matte Palette and run that through my crease. You're only really looking to blend out the top half of this so don't worry about what's happening on the eyelid right now. Now as we applied that skin coloured powder right at the start, it does make blending this out a lot more easy. Next I'm going to take Coco from the Eye Lust palette, also by Sleek. I'm taking that on a big fluffy brush. I'm just placing that all over the eyelid. You could use a flat eyeshadow brush or you could use your finger. on the brush just start to blend that into the crease colour. Next I'm going to take the dark warm brown on a smaller pencil brush and just add a bit more depth to the outer corner. As you've already done your base make sure you really tap off any excess from your brush. I'm just going to draw in a, a sort of C shape on the outer corner of the crease. And then I find it's easier to start blending that out with your first crease brush because it doesn't have such a dark product on it. So now I'm going to repeat those steps underneath. I'm going to take the warm terracotta shade and run this underneath my eye all the way along. Make sure you join it up on the outer corner and on the inner corner. This time with a smaller brush, I'm going to take that gold shade and just run that close to the lash line. But not take it all the way along, I want to leave that inner tear duct blank. And now with the lightest shade in the palette, I'm just going to take that on the inner corner and use that as my highlight. Next I'm going to do my ringed eyeliner and mascara off camera. And for that I'm going to use Volume Million Lashes by Bourjois and um, Clubbing Liner also by Bourjois. So I'll be right back. So now that that's done, I'm going to fill in my brows. And for that I'm going to use Makeup Revolution's Arch and Shape. I'm using the pencil end. I'm just going to fill in any sparse areas and just overall darken my eyebrows. And then I just take a disposable spoolie and just run that through the brows to get rid of any clumps of product. It just makes them look a bit more natural. Okay, there we go. Next I'm going to apply some concealer under my eyes and for that I'm going to use Estee Lauder's Double Wear Highlighter Pen. 
just run that in V shapes under my eyes. And then we can buff it in. This will help to clear up any fallout and also help to lighten the area. I'm just going to take a concealer brush and start blending that in. So I'll blend that little bit that I put down my nose first. And this is a pointed one, so it's quite good for getting into these areas. Now my skin's quite dry at the moment, um, especially around my nose, so I'm not going to powder that area. I'm just going to powder my cheeks and my forehead and my chin. Next I'm going to take a matte bronzer from Rimmel and an angled brush and just apply that to my cheeks. And also to my temples. And whatever's left on the brush, stop running that across your hairline. And for my blush today I'm going to use Sunset Glow by Clinique and just take that on a fluffy brush. And then wipe off any excess product on the back of your hand and just go around the outside of all that to blend it out. Make sure there's no harsh lines. The only place where you might want a bit more of a harsh line is the lower half of your contour so that you have like, sharper looking cheekbones. Now I'm going to highlight my skin using Tanzanite from the Sleek's new highlighter palette. It's the pink shade one because I know they were sort of looking very similar on my camera. So I'm going to take that on a small fluffy brush and just run that on the tops of my cheeks. In the last few videos I used the white one and it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, this is pretty um, highlighting too. The pink shade looks a lot softer than the white, like a lot less harsh and I think it would work quite well on deeper skin tones than mine. Now I just do my lips off camera because I'm not very good at doing my lipstick using a mirror that's far away so the mirror would have got in the way of you being able to see anyway. Um, so I lined my lips with a lip pencil from Bare Minerals and this is one of their marvellous moxie ones in the shade Electrified. And then as my lipstick I used one from Melt Cosmetics which was called Dark Room which is a slightly purpley red, a very plum tone. Now I'm about to do my false eyelashes and for that I'm going to be using the Ardell's Demi Wispies. So I'm also using the Ardell glue and I apply it to the lash band and leave it for about 20 seconds for it to go tacky and then I um, grab the lash in the middle of the lash band and place it in the centre of my eyes to start with. Wait for that to stick and then I'm going to stick down either corner. I'm going to get it as close to the lashes as possible really. Now if you do have black eyeliner on it does sort of help if you when you're first starting um, and you don't quite get the lashes as close to your natural lash line because you can't see the gap. Now once they're in place I carefully clamp my own lashes with the false lashes sort of clamping them together with the tweezers. And obviously you want to make sure that you don't catch any skin when you're doing this. So just lightly press down so you know if you've got it in the right place or not. And there you go, that's how I apply them. So I'm just going to do the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. So there we go guys, that's the makeup look complete. So um, I hope you learnt something new today and you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any recommendations for future videos then let me know by commenting below. And um, thank you again for watching and take care, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.